warning before you start this process make sure everything and anything behind the dash is completely removed any carpet any kind of sound denting anything behind there plastic make sure it's removed or you'll start a fire let's get to the video Anybody need a motor? You guys need a motor, LS3 with the trans, 6L80? Let me know though. You gotta hit me on in, uh, Instagram though. Hit me up on Instagram. Might be getting rid of this thing. But real quick, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I am super excited today to show you what we have come up with for these G-bodies. Check it out. It looks like a donkey though, right? It looks like a freaking donkey, but this is what we have, you guys. This is what I came up with. This is something that's gonna be available on the website very, very soon, you guys. Um, we're just working out all the logistics, some details. We're gonna be doing some bead rolling as well. We're gonna be offering that. So I'll probably offer it with the bead roll and with not, with just like a plain, just Jane like this. But let me show you guys how we're gonna go about it installing this thing. What do you guys think of our donkey, you guys? Yeah, it looks like a donkey, right? Yeah, it does a little bit. But you guys, so this is what I'm thinking of basic tools, stuff that you can probably go out and get at any auto parts store or even hardware store. You should be able to find this stuff here. Now, I was going to use an air hammer, but I don't think everybody would have an air hammer. Um, the goal today is to try to get that firewall as smooth as possible, obviously, for our firewall plate to kind of go there and sit flush. And then you can tack weld it on there, rivet on there, however you guys want to go about it. But you see that basically this little, I don't know, a backwards Nike swoosh kind of thing, right? So we want to bring that pocket a little bit flush closer to the, the rest of the firewall. So we're going to use auto body repair kit slash hammer dollies, whatever you want to call them. And then we're some heat also. If you guys got some heat, maybe even a heat gun. I don't know if the heat gun is going to get hot enough for that though. So we're going to use this little propane torch. We're going to heat up the area and try to soften that metal. And basically pound it from the back side and try to get it smooth as much as possible so that way that panel sits nice and flush so let's get to work say hello to my little friend That wasn't actually bad at all, you guys. Definitely that heat definitely helps, but you can see how it's starting to bubble right there where the paint's at. Basically, it's reacting to the heat and it's gonna cause a fire. So, safety first, I'm gonna grab the fire extinguisher and I'm gonna grab a towel just to kind of make sure we got no problems. We're gonna try to probably rub some of this paint off. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'm gonna get the grinder or even a sander, kind of sand some of this paint off. It might actually make it even easier and less problematic for a fire. Go ahead and remove some of the stuff with the dash that was in the way. You're definitely going to want the dash out as much as possible so we can get to that guy right there. So now we have a good clear shot and we can actually start to work this thing the other way around. So make sure you got your dash removed as best as possible. Free sun, baby. It's where it's at. And guys. It was hot in there, man. It's hot inside that cab. It's super hot. And also what I did on the other side, instead of bringing all that, basically that flame inside the cab, just grab a heat gun. Now it doesn't heat it up like as much by any means, but it still softens the metal and it gives you 
a lot safer result. I don't want you guys burning up the garage, all right? So we're gonna heat this side up now a little bit more. You guys can see how much we work that down now. And we'll kind of work this side a little bit more and then test it our panel. But make sure you guys, any other little dents inside the firewall, make sure you guys smack those down also. Like we got another one right here. We got this little bump right here. Make sure you guys work that one as well. Just trying to get it as smooth as possible for that panel. All right, we got the test panel on. Just mocked in there. So we're using the Clecos here, you guys. These are really, really nice when you guys are working with sheet metal. I will put a link down in the description below to these. They're basically like little rivets. They're temporary rivets is all it is. It just goes in. You have a special plier that squeezes this down and pushes that out. Let me show you as a matter of fact. You just load the rivet in there like so and then you push in like that. You see how it kind of expands and then comes back out just like that. And then you push that into the hole. You bang it into the hole. You can use the back of your hand or even a little hammer. And then you let go and it, and it basically locks that. Now, we got pretty much everything lined up. Now you are gonna have um, a few little spots here and there that are not gonna be perfect just because every firewall can be a little bit different depending on the car. But for the most part, it should have a pretty good fit. Now here is the area we reworked. This is definitely gonna be one of the, like I guess, hardest parts to work with because you're gonna have kind of still like a little divot almost because of the, this firewall really has a, like a waterfall effect here. So it kind of starts to go down here, but you can get it pretty good, pretty tight, especially how we rework the back of it. Now, once you kind of have it all zipped in here with the rivets, what you can do is take your mallet, your little um, body hammer, and you can kind of just work this edge down over a little bit and just keep it, get it nice and flush. 11 minutes later so just like that you guys like i said it's definitely gonna be a little bit of a challenge just to get that panel nice and squared but you can see man that's gonna look amazing and yours will have the bead roll in here with some nice graphics it'll make it look real sharp but now you can go around and kind of tack this all the way around and then body work it finish it how you guys want to um, incorporate it with the rest of the firewall and give it a nice coat of paint self etching primer you guys i recommend for sure uh, but i like the way that's going to look so what we'll do is we'll take this back off we'll do the bead roll on it real quick and then come back and put some more rib nuts rib nuts uh, or i should say clecos put some more clecos in it get it nice and tight to the body and tack weld it and i'll show you guys what it kind of looks like yes sir all right we are ready to rock and roll you guys we got the panel back ready to go from bead rolling. Now, you can see we also prepped the rest of the firewall up a little bit. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect, you guys, but you're definitely gonna have to grind away as much as that old paint and everything else in between. That way you guys get a good mounting surface for this panel, and when you go to weld it on, I mean, you could definitely rivet it on if you guys want to, but you're definitely better off welding this thing on. That way it gets, Basically, it's going to live on the car for the rest of its life at the end of the day. Now, mind you, you are going to need a drill to basically drill the holes for those Clecos. So that way you guys have the Clecos pulling together the two pieces of metal as close to and tight as possible. As a matter of fact, let me get you guys that drill bit size. So a 1 8 drill bit should do, you guys. If you guys don't have a 1 8 maybe a 7 30 seconds might be a little tight. If you guys want to try a 7 30 seconds first, if not a 1 8, whatever you guys want to do, but that should more than do it. But I'm also noticed on this guy, on this side, you guys, you're going to have kind of like a double layer over here where you're going to basically have what that stock firewall screws into. It's like a it's like a nut plate that goes around this whole area right here. So you're going to have a double layer on that side. So just remember that when you guys start drilling, if you guys penetrate through one, that's what she said. <laughs> you're gonna have another one to go through but all right let's get this thing put on and we'll tack it in
All right, you guys, I think we got pretty much everything tacked in, ready to go. Like I said, don't get crazy with the welder. Just tack, 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 you guys, because you it's thin sheet metal, 18 gauge sheet metal, guys, you'll burn right through it. So don't get too crazy. On this side, I did a bunch of small little tacks just to kind of round out that edge so when the body guy comes in here and does body work, smooths that out a little bit, makes it a little easier, less bondo, better for the body guy. Also, like I said, body work, you guys, you, this is what's gonna be coming up next after you guys get your firewall plate in here, hit it, body work it. If you guys know how to do body work, awesome. If not, send it to the paint shop. You have this thing sanded all the way down and your choice of paint, you guys. But hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if that works out for you guys. Until then, stay wrenching.